Good morning, sports fans. You're in the cheap seats on 96.3 FM, streaming live on the web at WLCNOnline.com. Sing the song for us. Mission Mark. Mission, Mission Mark. Mark. I like that. That's You're the good at Mission it. Mark no, way. I, I, I think he's butchering that from the beginning, <laughs> isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't yeah, know that's you not even how it goes. I can. We are at the Mission Mart at Home Sweet Home Ministries, located at their beautiful, huge new location at 119 North Sanguin Street, just off historic downtown Lincoln. <laughs> Manager Mike is the manager here at the Mission Mart. Phone number 217-732-8806. They are open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Or you can go online to missionmart.org and become a fan on Facebook. I haven't done that yet, but I need to do it. You do. Uh, ask about their huge green stamp sale going on today. Good morning, fellas. Joe Ryan. I'm Scott Kirby. Jake Johnston. A little bit under the weather. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere. Somewhere under the radar Good. or weather? Gravy. Bad. Just bad. Just bad. Well, I uh, know you're a big baseball fan. Uh, the season is winding down. Yeah. Uh, for those that haven't made the playoffs, uh, the uh, playoff, it, it's kind of, it's all playoffs? set. The playoffs. Playoffs? Playoffs are set. <laughs> yeah, we got a wild card game. Uh, Tuesday, we got the Giants at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's in the playoffs again, guys. Well, it's not set yet, though. It's not? It is not. Uh, the Cardinals and Pirates are still battling it out. The Cardinals have a one-game lead. Well, they're that, for the division. For the division. The playoffs but, I mean, that, that, that changes it, though. Playoffs. That changes, you know, that That's put uh, San put Francisco against St. Louis. I think yeah. that would be in St. Louis, I believe. Okay, so there's there, Pittsburgh's one game back. Correct. And there's two games to go. Yep. Okay, who's Pittsburgh playing? Uh, they're playing Cincinnati. Oh boy, who's Cardinals? They're and the Cardinals are Arizona. playing Arizona. Arizona Eight? just fired their manager, so that I both don't know. bad that? teams. Yeah, yeah, kind of a shocker there. They actually okay. pulled the trigger on that one with uh, Kirk, old Gibson. Yeah, old Kirk Gibson must been there for the last money. few years, and <laughs> yeah. don't let him finish the season. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's yeah. They got the worst record in baseball. That is bad. They they were bad this year. So, uh, well, if it pounds out, I mean, <clears throat> you got either the Cardinals or Pittsburgh yep. uh, facing the Giants. Uh, you got uh, the Dodgers. They've got the home field advantage. So, yep. the l- winner of the wild card game will be traveling to L.A. Is that correct? Or no, I believe the winner of the wild card game will go to Washington, uh, who has the best That's record right, right, right. Uh, in the National League. And then the uh, the other team would be uh, the third place team, St. Louis or Pittsburgh. Whoever wins the division will go we'll against go the Dodgers. Dodgers. I'd almost think, I almost think I want to play that playoff playing game and go against Washington. Yeah, L.A. They throw out uh, their top dogs. They throw out Kershaw in a short series, two games. I mean, last year we got through it, but yeah, ooh, not gonna. Be and then they got uh, Granky on top of that. I mean. He, he's a stud, too. I mean, in, in a short series, that's that's a tough it's team tough. right there, man. And you got Puig and you got Kemp. That, that's a solid lineup. Uh, if they're if they're hitting, yeah. I mean, Puig's been struggling here towards the end of the year. Uh, Kemp also. I mean, it, you know, it it just depends. And But the playoffs is a different environment than what the regular season is, of course. So are the Phillies in? Phillies are not in. Phillies just missed. Yeah, yeah, just missed out. Just The tweet is on. Just wonder. <laughs> tweet is, the tweet is on. Uh, over in the American League, uh, got Oakland. Kansas City, guys, they made the playoffs uh, yep. the first time since 19, I want to say, 85. Yes. Unfortunately for me, I predicted that they were going to win the division and Detroit was going to be the wild card, but it was a close race. When did you predict this? Yeah. Last week? Or? <laughs> Do we have that on film somewhere? Yeah. Uh, actually, me and my buddy were going over our uh, – we had contests for the year, and uh, we were going over them, and – uh, I had that division switched, and he had uh, he had uh, the American League West picked per, uh, correctly, and I had actually put the Mariners in. So, which you the guys Mariners didn't make it uh, You know, we we enjoy <laughs> baseball quite a bit, so we have uh, we we run silent bets on the side, so it's fun. <laughs> Does Vegas know that? Huh? Can we talk about betting on the air. Uh, it's it's just friendly. It's just Vegas. handshake bet. Yeah. I bet, yeah, because yeah. Jake would never do that. Nope. I don't put money up unless I know I'm going to win. Yeah, uh, guys, that's called a sure thing. Yep. Yeah. Derek Jeter played in his uh, his last home game home game at uh, 
Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Uh, didn't play last night in Boston for some reason. No, I think he's done. I, I, he's not going to play shortstop the rest of the year, he said. Uh, so they might let him uh, DH. You know why? Why? He ended the note. He ended his career on a good note. You know, had a walk off base hit to win the game the other night. Yeah, yeah. that was cool. That, so, that, that was pretty yeah, cool. That was cool. Yeah. So Basically, why, single handedly brought the team back. Yeah. So why, game, why not so. just uh, end it right there? Uh, you know, and that's what that's what he was saying. You know, he played his last game at shortstop, and it was at, at Yankee Stadium. That's uh, the place where he basically grew up in baseball, and it was just it was a pretty cool moment, really, <laughs> for baseball. The, the little little uh, Gatorade commercial they had where he's walking into the stadium, you know, decides to stop a little early and stop by some places, talk to fans and stuff as he's walking in. That was always kind of the disconnect with New Yorkers and Derek Jeter that he was thought of as, as a little high class and he didn't, you know, mingle with the people and it was just a really cool commercial that, you know, I, I thought it was pretty awesome. One of the best commercials I've seen in a while. So, so, yeah, so, so the best ever? The best shortstop ever? The best Yankee ever? What, what, well, yeah. I hear all the talk. You know, how, how does he rank? You know, there, there's been a lot of talk about how does he rank? Where, <clears> where would you rank him, Joe, as one of the best Yankees of all time? You mean like where? Yeah. Or, I mean, certainly he is. Oh, I don't know. You know, he's. Well, you know, you're, I don't know where I'd put him as well, far as a Yankee. You're in company with Mickey Mantle, Lou Gehrig. He's a pretty good ball player. Well, it, then that's that's kind of been the argument. A lot of people, you know, especially ex teammates and one Oh, he's the greatest Yankee of all time. It's like, well, yeah. I mean, he probably is the greatest Yankee if you if you just strike Yogi Berra. Or if you just take out, you know, Joe DiMaggio, and you forget about Mickey Mantle's stats, and, and Luke Garrick was decent. I mean, back in the day, Luke, Luke Garrick, he, you know, he was one of the one of the guys that you could count on every day. And then, uh, you well, know, can you throw Mariano Rivera in the mix? Yeah, you, you could put Rivera in the mix. Babe, Babe Ruth, maybe. I don't know if you oh, ever heard Babe of that guy. Ruth, yeah, I forgot about him. Yeah, he has Shoot. a candy bar. Yeah, he does. I mean, that's pretty cool. The big Bambino, you know. I mean, uh, he, he was the guy who was quoted. They, uh, they said, uh, babe, you're making more than the president this year. He said, well, I had a better year. <laughs> <laughs> babe was funny. Ba well, babe it's was, uh, it, it's, if you look at his numbers, and keep in mind, their stadium is dead center field. Uh, I think the average distance for dead center field was about 490, 480, 490. Oh, wow. Uh, down the lines was close to 360, 360 or 380, not 313, not 327. And you look at his numbers, they are absolute PlayStation numbers. <laughs> I mean, that's funny. If you put his, <clears throat> his home runs and his hits in today's ballparks, <clears throat> he would have probably had in the area of 900 home runs. And his batting average would have went from, I think it was a lifetime average of three, 320, 326 like that, to about uh, 390. It's just wow. ridiculous. Yeah. The guy was, the guy was unbelievable. Joe so probably got it. Joe, did you get to see him play at all? <laughs> you know, that was pretty funny by you. A little jab, <laughs> get things started. No, no, I missed that oh, game. I was... <laughs> His dad didn't let I had go. to work that day. You had ACTs. Had, had, had to run the paper route that <laughs> <Yeah>. morning. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, I tried. There'll be, be funnier stuff coming along. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> so, uh, so you're ranking. Do you uh, top five? No. Top, top ten. ten? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say top ten. I mean, he is top ten, definitely. You know, well, and and his play, it wasn't just offensive numbers. I and mean, it's it, it's it was off all the field. It was all off the, off the field stuff. I mean, you never. Well, not with the. I mean, with the Yankees, you better not have off the field stuff. Well, for the most part, they won't leave you on the team. They'll get rid of you. He stayed trouble free, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh yeah. Jeter. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. I mean, he, he never, hasn't. Yeah. You you know you, you got to give him credit talk, for that. Uh, I mean, you look at just a few years back, the the big shortstops. You had Nomar Garcia Parra in Boston. You had Derek Jeter. You had A-Rod, you know, and Cal Ripken was still playing. Barry Larkin so, over. Ozzy you know, Smith. Ozzy. So, well, I mean, you look, you look at all these play, all these shortstops, and, you know, he's right there with the greats. I, I, if I was going to pick, I'd probably take Barry Larkin over Derek Jeter, you know. Defensively? Or o offensively. Offensive? And defensively. He had more range. Derek Jeter had, was a good defensive shortstop, but he did not have great range. 
he, he made some good jump throws that were spectacular and always seemed like he always made the big ones in uh, the playoffs, which, you know. Is he I, better than the Wizard in the field, you think? No, 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 no way. But, uh, is I mean, that, with the stick, obviously. Is the reason that he is so. Better than Ozzie with the, with the bat, yeah. Is, is it the reason that he's on the Yankees is why he's got all this uh, attention and, you know, star power, I guess? Well, it doesn't hurt. I mean, he he put him a multiple, multiple times Silver Slugger award, and and uh, he's definitely a good defensive player. He's been on the same team, stayed out of the, the, the hot spot well, line. And let's face it, if you're in New York, that, like you're saying, that can help or hurt you. Because well, if you, you do know, something wrong, they're right. going to they're they're blow it up, too. Yeah. You know, put him on a team like, Put him down in Houston. You know, is he that? Oh, you that's know, a good question. You know, is he that? He's Craig Biggio. Well known. You know, he, he's Craig Biggio, which is a Hall of Famer. Right. I mean, will be a Hall of Famer. So, but does he go out with a bang like he does with the Yankees? They, they do. He doesn't have the Gatorade commercial. No. Well, and he doesn't I'll, have I'll all the, the appearances in World Series and everything either. That's know? true as well. Yeah. And that's where you really gain notoriety from from those big games. Well, and not only the big games, but the fact that he was so good in the big games. Absolutely. I mean, he's clutch. He, he was named Mr. November yeah. one one year. So, I mean, he yeah, cl- he is clutch in life. You ever been named after a month? <laughs> uh, no. I, I don't haven't. think so. <laughs> You've been named some other things, but not after a month. Yeah, we can't that. say them on air. That's no, for sure. This is a family show. It is a family a show. Family we're we're going to keep we're going to keep her clean. <laughs> so uh so who's your prediction, Jake? Uh who's going to be in the uh, World Series at the end of the Well, I think it's going to be the team that wins more than the other teams. Yeah, oh, and, here uh, we go. Smart guy. Yeah. Uh you know, uh Let's go with your Royals. I mean, you're on them. No, 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 actually I, I wouldn't go with the Royals. Um change his mind just like that. Yep. Now he's off of them. No, I, I'm, I was putting the Royals in the playoffs. I wasn't putting oh, them in the playoffs. Oh, you weren't putting them. Okay. But, um, gotcha. So you know what? I'll, I'll go with a kind of a, a dark horse for it. I'll, uh, I'll go with Baltimore that's, for the American that's League. That's really not that big of a dark horse. Yeah. I mean, they've been playing some excellent ball. Oh No, they have. But, I mean, if you're looking at teams, I mean, I think there's going to be a lot of people putting I, – and I, I haven't looked at the A lot numbers. of people – the Angels are probably the, the favorite. In, and a lot of people putting uh, Detroit in, which you can't blame. I mean, Detroit. <coughs> no? You want to talk about running out some studs. Verlander, Price. I mean – You know, the, right the team there. that went out and made the most moves probably to get there was Oakland. And they've kind of just uh, spiraled. Downward, yeah. Uh, you know they've added losing Cespedes in the in the middle of that batting order uh, was a lot bigger hit than the one they thought he'd be. And, and I, I, you know, you can see the sabermetrics numbers, and you can justify it. But what he did, he also took a lot out of that clubhouse by trading him off, and uh, they didn't see that. You know, they they, they didn't, didn't think that, that was that coming. Was, that was kind of a what? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I didn't think it was a bad trade. I mean, you get, to be honest, one of the more dominant left-handers, if not the most dominant left-hander in the game. Yeah. Especially when you're talking playoff baseball. Playoffs. That guy's a stud. So, you know, and picking up some margin. There's a couple good guys coming out. And, you know, Sonny Gray there, too. I yeah. mean, they, they've got. You know, and it is, you know, it's you wipe the slate clean right now, and it's whoever's playing the best baseball. So, yeah. you know, they could go into Kansas City, win that, and get on a little roll. You know, if you got two solid Who's pitchers. Yeah. Who's the hottest team in you know, baseball right now? Yeah. Well, you got to figure the good, hottest. It's going to be Lester against Shields in that one-game playoff. Yeah. I mean, big game change against, against Lester. I think Pittsburgh's so. the hottest team in baseball right Pittsburgh's now? Pittsburgh's hot. Oh, man, they're smoking hot right now. Yeah. Uh, since Since the Cardinals swept them. I think they've lost a total of four games. Wow! So imagine if they would, if they would just won or won one in, in that Cardinal sweep, they'd be in first place right now. Yeah. Or if the Cubs didn't take two out of three against St. Louis, you know they'd had a probably bigger lead. <laughs> Parasites. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> yeah. the little things that make them happy. <laughs> well, you gotta keep them happy somehow. I mean, otherwise, it's yeah. a dead rivalry. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, oh, so, I mean, you watch it. out, guys. Watch out. I think next year's our year. I've yeah, been saying I that. think so. Well, let's uh, let's take a break. We come back. Uh, are we going to have Coach Mack on today? I don't think so. Coach Mack can't be here. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll talk some football, some high school football. Uh, we got some college football slated to talk about, and we got a big game going on in the NFL Sunday. So Uh-oh. stay tuned. We'll be back. America's team doesn't play Sunday. They got the week off, but there nope. are some other games. The going. Bears are playing. 
I said America's team. America. Okay, America. The Bears. America. The, the Bears. You're undefeated. So stay tuned. Arizona we'll be Cardinals. back. You're in the cheap seats, 96.3 FM, and streaming live on the web at WLCNOnline.com. Name that band, and it has nothing to do with the three of us sitting here. Oh, the who? Know. The who? Thin Lizzy. Thin Lizzy. <laughs> None of us thin sitting here. I'm telling you that. Yeah, we're named Lizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome and back to the Cheap back. Seats. We are back. We are at the uh, outside of the Mission Mart. And don't miss Mission the Mart. Mission Mart. Good no, that's Mission Smart guy. Mission Smart. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't you sing? Well, a little if bit? you recycle, hey, you sick say, "Boy, why don't you sing a little bit?" Yeah, because he's congested. <laughs> I am congested. <laughs> he can't talk. Hey, don't miss the Christmas extravaganza with all the Christmas de- Christmas decor items. Twenty five percent off at Mission Mart at Home Sweet Home Ministries. Deck your halls and trim the trees with huge savings all day on October 10th and the 11th and enjoy an additional 25% off the already incredible low prices at Mission Mart at Home Sweet Home Ministries located in their huge new location at 119 North Sangamon in Lincoln. I know how much you like and how you enjoy decking them halls. Dude, I I told you guys I should have just left my lights up. I thought you did. We told you to. It's here in a couple months. I'm Probably gonna have to put them back up. Just a few weeks, it seems like. Man, this year's There's, flying. You know, they, every year you go into department stores all over. It, earlier and earlier, they have their Christmas stuff out. I've yeah. already seen Christmas stuff, and it's not even October. It's less uh, than three months. Yeah, yeah. you should have left less. them up, Clark. Why didn't you leave them up uh, all year? Well, I tried. Trust me, <laughs> I tried. Uh. You guys want to talk some college football? Absolutely. All right. Well, let's talk about some college football. Uh, Go Bears! I'm going to tell you one thing. Uh, Ask my wife. I told her beginning of the season. Oklahoma Sooners, best team in the nation. Well, they, they're, and now they finally got there. Yeah. They're good. They are good. And I love their new unis they got going. Oklahoma yeah. looks good. Yeah. They do look good. Was this a side bet with Jake, too? Off off air, nobody knows about no. it. I, I think you and I no. talked about Oklahoma at the beginning of the year there, boy. Boy. <laughs> he said, boy. You must have met Roy. <laughs> uh, we got Wyoming at Michigan State, uh, t- uh, number nine Michigan State. Tennessee at number 13 Georgia. South, s- South Florida at Wisconsin. Number one Florida State at North Carolina State. And who doesn't want to see Florida State get beat? I do. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, how about I this, they don't win another game. Number 23, Duke Ooh, at uh, Miami. Yep. Is Coach K in that game? <laughs> <laughs> Coach K is he is coaching playing. football now? Co- Coach Coach K could win a football game by himself. You know, I had uh, since He's we're up on, there with Ditka. <laughs> uh, since uh, we're talking about uh, college football, I'm going to change my trivia question. Oh boy! Okay, you can't get uh, mainstream like hey, that. Hey, yeah, don't it never works all out. Well. It's, it's got to do with football. The water's deep here, and the canoe is not that big. <laughs> no, <laughs> especially with Joe in it. Let's make it a <laughs> don't, let's don't make it a it. let's make it a two part trivia. Let's make it a little oh, harder. Oh, it's going to be even more difficult. difficult. Does the caller have to call twice? <laughs> no. The tweet it, is on. <laughs> answer any qu- answer any of these two questions, you're going to win. Phone number 737-3791. That's 737-3791. First question, uh, when did Derek Jeter make his Yankee debut? Year? Day and year. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, and, uh, technical. Make it a little tough today. And then the second I question, uh, name a former Bear who just retired – Last year was his last season playing, who played for Duke. He just retired. I think I got that. I think I got play. I think I got that one. Back in the mid-90s. Uh, he, play, he was with the Bears for like 16 years. Yeah. And uh, he's on a radio show now. It's just another hint. Was he the longest? I read somewhere where he was a or the most years with the Bears ever, yeah. any player? Yeah, I think so. Text yeah. in or the tweet is on. I don't the, know. You can tweet is. at WLCN Sports. Oh, crap, I love my phone. We got truck. Lloyd <laughs> Lloyd Manning, the tweeter account, I Twitter. Think, Lloyd Philly. What do they win? You're going to yeah, win. win. Yeah, well, you oh, are going to win. You're going to win. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> you <laughs> are going to win. Hey, this you're isn't a TV. They can't <laughs> see us. Uh, uh, you're going to win a large one topping pizza from Stuff to Ooh. Good stuff. That's you know that's Perfect uh, part yeah, of the pun. Football game. All you gotta do is call seven three seven three seven nine one, 
with the answer to one of those questions, and you're going to win that pizza. I now, think it's a good deal. If you want to answer both questions, you can. Uh, Joe will come over and mow your yard if you, you get them both right. <laughs> okay, I got this. Be the, I'll be there by November 15th. <laughs> and he will hang your Christmas lights as well. November 15th is not the date we were looking for. It's no. A, that is not the date. No. No, that is not even close. How you guys doing? Uh, month, date, and year, Jer- Derek Jeter made his Yankee debut. Yeah. And a former Bears player that played for Duke back in the 90s. That's pretty good. We're yeah. waiting on it. Waiting on it. 737-3791. Or you can tweet our tweeter Look at, at WLCN Look at Sports. Look he's, at him go. He's got the fastest thumbs of the Midwest. Our tweeter. Uh, some other games going on. Number eight, North uh, Notre Dame at Syracuse. And we got the Fighting Illini at number 19, Nebraska. Oh, boy. Illinois in a lot of trouble today. Think so? Yeah. Oh, boy. Absolutely. It's, yeah. They can't score enough so points the, to keep the up the Central Nebraska. State 8 boys aren't going to be able to pull off a victory today. They're not ready for Nebraska. No. I mean, I'm over there the, building Nebraska them. This is a good this year. year. Yeah, they're not ready for Nebraska, yeah. I don't think. No, this I hope is, they are. This, I hope they play well. This is a good building year, though. Absolutely. I, I mean, I, they have some things I, going in the right direction. I think so. They're just too. not ready for Nebraska, no, I don't oh, think. Oh, man. I think we got a caller. Go ahead, caller. Hi. Um, is it Pat, Pat Manley? Yes, it is. Patrick Manley. And what position did he play for the Bears? Um, I, that's just a bonus. Uh, you don't have to long answer. snapper. There you go. I was just going to say, he didn't say that in the beginning, well, and he gets you on the air and starts asking you more questions. So that's a double win. Yeah, that's a double win. So that means win. Joe has to so mow your yard. Joe will mow your yard, <laughs> and you win a free pizza. <laughs> and who are we speaking with? This is Don Steiner. Don Steiner, all right. And you didn't happen to know when Derek Jeter made his Yankee debut, did you? <laughs> no, I I didn't follow him very, oh. very well. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, it was May 29th of 1995. Oh. 1995. Yeah, so that was a long so time. I, was one I, thought year old. It was, I thought it was May 31st. Joe graduated from college that year. <laughs> <laughs> so He's funny. All right, you can pick this up at Jake's. Sure. Jake's furnishings. You got, or you can stop by up here in the next half hour and pick it up. We we're at the mission. All right. Hour, so, all right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you for calling. Have a good Thanks day. On. Okay. Yep. Bye bye. Bye. Patrick Manley. He was in the <laughs> league for 16 years. A long snapper. Boy, you right. can make a pretty good career at that. So it's simple. Obviously. It's, and that's you know people think long snapper. All he's doing is snapping the ball, and. No, he, he popped uh, in the grill. Yeah. Pretty Im- <laughs> it's a pretty important part of your game. Yeah, yeah. it is. And, and you know, the Bears, the Bears found the, out the first week. They're struggling right now. But, uh, you know, not only does he snap it on punts, I mean, he's going downfield to make that tackle. You, you know, know? When, when Tony Simple was in the NFL and, and he, you know, I would talk to him and he would, he was upset because he wanted to go there and start. You know, he wanted to play. And he wasn't. They were, you know, they made him the long snapper and he was getting to do long snaps and he would complain about not being able to play. And, you know, I kept saying to him, you know, look at this, look at the wear and tear you're saving on your body. Right. If that's all you're doing, you know, you can stick around a long time. And he did. He ended up sticking around, you know, nine years. And he did start two or three seasons. He was a starting, uh, gosh, I forgot, now left guard. Mm-hmm. But uh, I ran into Bobby April, which I don't know if you guys know Bobby April. But Bobby April's been around the NFL. He's a special teams coach for several teams. And uh, I think he's you in just ran into him. Well, I was at a coaching clinic and he was there. Oh, okay. And we started talking about things. And. I, you know, said where I was from, and then we were talking. He sat at our table for half hour, and we were talking about things. And then I brought up, you know, that Tony Simple was from my hometown, and he and he's been in the NFL forever, and he's a, you know, a very good special teams coach. And he looked at me and said, "Tony Simple can long snap for me anytime." He said that guy's fantastic. It was quite quite a compliment to get from him. Yeah. But anyway, long snappers, they can stick around the NFL. They can, just like well, a kid. Nowadays, special teams are becoming such a stronger emphasis yeah. is being put on them as well. So, I mean, it's it's not like it was, I'd say, even 10 years ago where, you know, special teams is the stepchildren, basically, you know, the ones that, you know, were one step away from being off team. Nowadays, it's a pretty, pretty big part of the game. It's a big deal. Yeah. You know, especially punt. You, you, they've pretty, I don't want to say eliminated the kickoff, but you don't see – the big kickoff returns no. like you used yeah. to just because most of these kickers are kicking it out of the end zone and you don't have that chance. You know, every time you're watching an NFL game and you, and you see that guy drop back six, seven, eight yards deep in that end zone and catch the ball and he comes running <laughs> out, like, you, you have to wonder if, if it's just driving him nuts because, you know, that's what he gets to do. Yeah. And they bury right. him back there all the time that even if the coaches said, 
you know, you take a knee, he caught that, and he just goes, man, I'm running, and he I'm takes gone. off. Well, and if he ends up at the 15, <laughs> if he ends up at the 15, he may not be on the team, and if yeah. he ends up at the 30, he might stick around another week. And that just kind of took, you know, Devin Hester, that took an aspect of, of, from his game away. Uh, now you know, he's down in Atlanta, and they've worked him into their offense, you know, yeah. nicely. I mean, he's contributing he good, to good the good offense. Coaches, yeah. Why the Bears couldn't do that, I don't know. But uh, – you know, it just it's taken away a little bit from the game. They say it's safer. Hall of Famer? Oh, yeah. Hester? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's, it, it, he's kind of worked his way into being that. Well, he, he's, well, he's one of those guys that kind of made special teams kind of fun to watch. Well, it, to watch. I mean, yeah. it, it did it help the Bears' field position. When you have Hester back there, you try to kick away from him, you know, you're going to muff a punt out of bounds. What you think about that team where uh, they're playing uh, your beloved Cardinal. America's team. If, if America's team, if uh, if he doesn't uh, if he doesn't do what he did in that game, they don't come back. Yeah. Well, and you know, there's a lot of times when you're watching a game and you know it's third and long and they don't get it, and then they're going to punt, and you may run to the fridge for another diet coke. Yep. Not not, Hester, not if Hester's either. going back. You stick around and go. Well, let's kind of see what happens here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he set the record a couple weeks back, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah he Tampa past Dion, but. Uh, this past like, Terry Metcalf. It seems like uh, a lot of things happened to the Arizona Cardinals to kick it off. I remember years ago, we uh, had old Dennis Green there. You remember the uh, missed field goal return for a touchdown? <laughs> the Bears were down like 20 to nothing. <laughs> you think I don't remember? That's I laid on my talk. garage floor and That's cried. That's what I'm talking about. They were who they thought they, they were. They were who they thought they what were. What a great press conference afterwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man. Still got sound bites for that one. Yeah. That's, I'm scarred for life. That's good stuff. Well, hey, guys, let's take another Lovely. commercial break. Uh, we come back. We'll, we'll talk some high school football, and we'll go into some more NFL. And, hey, Cardinals uh, made the playoffs this year, you said? The St. Louis Cardinals? Yeah. yeah they did. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah they <laughs> did. Hey, you know, Congratulations. what's new? Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Enjoy it while it lasts, fellas. While it lasts. See, Stay see tuned. where he goes while it lasts. Stay tuned. The last decade. We'll be back. You're in the cheap seats. High <laughs> 6.3 FM. 45 on a 78 right there. Woo! Woo! Bow, 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 bow. Crack that whip! <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Who sings yeah. this? Devo? Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of you. You're coming around. <laughs> no, man. Yeah. Welcome back. You're in the cheap seats. Name that tune. Devo. The band Perry. Hey, guys. Uh, just some local. <laughs> the band Perry. Some local news. Uh, former Lincoln Railer basketball star Bryant Cook. Signs with the Detroit Pistons. Breaking news. So he's going to be on their summer camp. The tweet is roster. So congratulations to him. Maybe we'll try to get him on. What's a guy get paid for something like that? Do you know? Well, it's probably more than I'll make in a lifetime. Well, I mean, is it based off of years in well, the league and all that stuff? Or no? I, I, I don't I'm know. not even going to guess. I, was, I didn't know. Yeah, I think in the NBA with their last bargaining agreement, there's, you have to pay veterans a certain right. amount. So, yeah. Yeah. And he's uh, – But yeah. even if you're paying him the minimum, it doesn't count against the uh, salary cap. So, Oh, really? You're a smart guy on that stuff. I don't, I, don't, I don't know all that stuff. But do we know that's correct? <laughs> you know what? You're absolutely right. Sometimes he's Lloyd, look really? that up. You know what? Because a lot of times we don't know if he's telling yeah, the he's truth. Yeah, he not. is a salesman. Well, he, the only reason I say this is because you can. My, no, the Miami Heat hit the hit the salary cap level, top top end, right? And they still signed. Uh, I think it was the former Duke guard or forward Bobby Hurley, Shane Battier. Whatever his name is, they can still sign him. They can sign for the uh, league minimum and didn't count against the uh, cap. Oh, so okay. Well, maybe he does know what he's talking about. Oh, I'm not going to argue with him because I'm sure don't. I, know. Yeah, I still don't know if he's correct. No. but we'll take his word for it. Tomato, tomato. Uh, are okay. you NASCAR racers? It's, it's, uh, it's NBA. Does anybody pay attention? It's neither here nor there. No, I really there. don't. Uh, got a big race going on tomorrow. The AAA 400 in Dover International Speedway. You guys going to watch that? Oh yeah, I'm all over that. Okay. I'm on it. Bears Packers tomorrow noon kickoff. Predictions. That's good. Your Cardinals are off. Yeah, they're taking. They're three and zero. Oh, man, they got to give the league a break. Yeah, yeah. we're so tired of getting beat up. Come back down to earth. And they're going to jump on an airplane I, I, and go out to Denver. I was going to say, I think they're going to Denver. Yeah, Seattle yeah. here pretty quick. They're going to Denver. So that that would be a good test for you. Absolutely. See where you stand. That's yeah. Denver just had tough tests in Seattle too. Yeah, that was yeah. a good one. A big game tomorrow, Bears-Packers, always a rivalry. Uh, not some other good games going on as well. Philly, 49ers, that's a good There's one. some good games. Uh, New Orleans, Dallas. 
Yeah, Dallas made a comeback last week on those Rams. Yeah, yep. they did. Did yeah, you go to that? No. You been to a game good. yet? No, we, we don't have season tickets anymore. Oh, you don't? No. Gave him a – Howie Long Sun guy. Had him for 15 years. What's wrong with you? Hey, you know what? It's just times have changed. You know, you, you, the – the NFL, the you know, DirecTV wasn't around back then, and it was all. I we loved it. We had a great time doing it. But you know what? It, in the past few years, you know, all the kids have moved away, and you still got friends though. You know, right here, I'm gonna tell you guys a little something. Or at least the hey, all you callers out there that have had season tickets to anything, call in and and let us know about how easy it was to get rid of them, because because it's not. Everybody, you can't get rid of them when you when you you know. Football games what do you mean? A lot you, more difficult. Yeah. What do you mean you can't get rid of them? There, once you have them, you know if they're good, obviously you want to go. So you're not you're not getting rid of those tickets. So yeah. when they're not good, is when you're getting rid of them, and then everybody's like, well, I don't know, and then you can't get a straight answer, and then nobody wants to pay for them. So how do you go about getting rid of them? You just call. The well, Rams now you can go on that stuff. NFL thing and do it. We just Step I just didn't want to mess it. Yeah. We're just yeah. done messing with it. You know the I much rather like having all the games on TV and watching all of them and in your home. Yeah, you're not making the drive. I'm getting old. The Scott yeah. Kerr we said in What does? Now. Yeah. Yeah, he still doesn't invite us over for Sunday fun day. Yeah. Well, Pulls I don't out. know Pulls Pulls what Pulls you two Pulls. would have to do with Sunday fun day. Watch football. Oh. You cook us a meal. where the meal. fun came in. Appetizers and you all cooking. that stuff. Yeah. Us. Food. Watching you right. cook. Maybe we'll just do a live broadcast from there. And, and we're back. Yeah. And we're back. Well, hey, let's uh, let's let's skip See over. Lloyd doing cannonballs in his pool. <laughs> you got that pool closed yet? No, I don't either. <laughs> I'm gonna swim in it today. I bet you do. Uh, let, let's let's uh, flip over to some high school football real quick. Cause uh, here in about uh, seven eight minutes, we're gonna have Manager Mike on. He's with uh, the Mission Mart. We'll get uh, Mission him on Mart. here. And he oh, can yeah, tell us what's go, going yeah. on here, what kind of big deals he has. Uh, Lincoln falls to <laughs> SHG last night, 67-6. to six. Uh, Thoughts on that game, Joe? It was a uh, burner. You know, y- yeah, number one, it's f- – I got to tell you, and some people would argue with me, but, you know, that score doesn't even bother me. That does – it has nothing to do with anything. We, we're not in the same league as them. That's a football team that practices year-round. I mean, he, I talked to Leonard before the game. You know, they – they went to Florida for a, a week-long seven-on-seven tournament and played the best teams in the nation and got third place. Um, you know they are—they got kids going D1. Their quarterbacks going D1. The big linemen's going D1. They are a—you know—they're state champions last year. They're going to come out and uh, and play for state championships this year in, in 5A or 6A. And I, I think 6A is an easier road for them. They are—they are a class act. You know what? They—they they take it easy on us as best they can. Did you see all the kids they ran on the field last night? Yeah. You guys, holy cow! There's you saw it. it hats off to them. You know, hats off to the whole program. That's well, they, look at the size of their team too, man. I mean, yeah, they're monsters. And, and I, I, Lincoln football isn't ready for that. We can't. We we sh- shouldn't be playing those. No, they, shouldn't be people playing that team. Yeah. So well, and, and to be honest, look at the rest of Central State. Eight. I mean, if, if you put up twenty. Against Sacred Heart Griffin. I mean, I'm talking Chatham. I, you know, Chatham's a decent football team a lot of years. Well, it's like I yeah, always say, we, it's a football conference, and and we have state champions come out of it all the time. And you know what? Look at Taylorville. Yeah. Taylorville's a team that, you know, it, we can play with. Sometimes they'll be way better than us, and then sometimes we'll beat them. It's a team we play with, and they've ran over to that Apollo, and they're yeah. undefeated. Undefeated, yeah. 4 and, and they're good. And, and you know, and, and if they're in the Central State Eight this year, you know they're going three and six. Right. You know, it, it's they are. Uh, yeah, Jeb uh, Odom's over there. He does a great job with that football program. Our next two weeks, our next three weeks are real tough. You know, I mean, MacArthur has a lot of athletes. We're going to see at homecoming. Got Rochester. They're, they're next athletic. Friday. Next weekend's Rochester again, a team that could that could play for a four A state championship for the fifth year in a row. Well, let's talk about Rochester. Uh, oh. They were only tw- they won twenty three to sixteen last night over Southeast. And you you were telling me off air earlier, Joe, that Southeast has some of their top players back, which they didn't have when we played them. See, they got that uh, B J Thomas back. No, it's not his name. Is it? B J Hill back? And he's a stud athlete, and it's allowed it's allowed their coaching staff to move. All right, let's move on, train. Yeah, that's a long one there. All right. That's what it sounded like when I used to take the ball and go down the lane. 
Here train comes the freight train. Here comes Here's Joe. Train. So you're, uh, yeah, so they're able to move, uh, uh, let's name the Timms kid. They were able to move him, Isaiah Timms, who's a basketball star, to quarterback. And uh, they're going to let, and now their team, you know, they've got great athletes in the backfield. Isaiah's playing quarterback, it's, and he can run. Uh, they're a better football team. And the, the uh, when Garrett was literally played on this all-star Springfield team, and the quarterback from Southeast was on it, the quarterback from uh, Rochester was on it, um, and he's having some success. Uh, taller, lanky kid, I can't remember his name, but, you know, you, those kids are playing quarterback and helping. Rochester's a good football team, fellas. Yeah. Some other scores in the Central State 8. MacArthur, 40. Springfield High School, 28. Jacksonville, 42. Eisenhower, 20. Yeah, now you look at Jacksonville, you think you, the talk is Jacksonville's down. Jacksonville's a playoff team. Yeah. I mean, they're going to win five games and sneak in. Uh, they're big up front. Their quarterback, 6'4". They can, they can spread the field and hurry. And, and, you know, we saw Eisenhower last week, which I don't think Eisenhower's a great football team, but they have skilled but positions. They have kids that can athletic that can do things, right. you know, but not, not a great football team. And uh, Glenwood uh, winners over Lanphier 43-19. Did I already say that? Yeah, I don't know. The scary thing is, yeah, Glenwood manhandled us. I mean, we had some starters out, but Glenwood, they beat us up up, up front. And, uh, and then Rochester beats them 42-zip. I know. I'm hoping Chatham had some kids out. I don't know if they did or not, but like half of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, let's take another commercial break. We come back. We'll have Manager Mike on air with us. Uh, he is from the Mission Mart, and he's going to talk about what's going on here and what you can expect in the future. So stay tuned. You're in the Cheap Seats 96.3. Wow. What's this? You know this one, you Mike? Name, you name this tune? No. This is before our time. Yeah. Joe? I don't have any idea. I bet Lloyd knows it. Lloyd can't hear it. He back out of it. Yeah, he don't even want to know. Good morning. back. Welcome back to the Cheap Seats outside of uh, the Mission Mart. And we have the manager of the Mission Mart, Mike Robbins. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Me and Joe love the jingle for your commercial. And you Can know. you sing that for us real quick? No, I don't think I could do that <laughs> no? for you. Well, that might hurt your ears a little too much. <laughs> These guys can sing it. Let's bring them in. Yeah, you Mission are. Mark Jingle. That's the pastor of our church, Open Arms Christian Fellowship right there. Pastor Larry Crawford, his we son know Jonathan. Larry. Larry can sing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for uh, having us today, Mike. Uh, what do you got going on here? I know you got some Christmas specials coming up and just all yep. kinds of sales. Yeah, actually, we just expanded the store another 1,400 square feet uh, about two really? weeks ago. Yeah. Back mm -hmm. here? This way? Actually, we came... With this wall right behind us, we actually were able to expand 1,400 square feet. We added a man cave, which you guys will have to check out before you leave. Got a nice TV in there. Uh, it's kind of interesting. We had some manly movies playing, you know, we thought. Not one guy stopped. We put in Tom and Jerry. We couldn't get the guys out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're simple people, us yeah, man. Yeah, I guess so. Yep. So uh, what do you got going on today? Well, today is the green stamp special. So all month we gave out cards, buy one, get one 50% off. Um, so you bring your cards in today that you've redeemed and you get an item of equal or lesser value. Um, also, wow. we of course have our silent auction going on all week long, ends on Monday. Uh, with our expansion, we were able to expand our silent auction to 57 items, so it's pretty good. Wow. A lot of sporting goods items, too. Sports cards, uh, Cardinals jerseys, Bears uh, jerseys. We don't want any Cardinals stuff. No, I, I don't really care for the Cardinals either. Yes, but you, want, you want to be well. on our show every day? Hey, you know absolutely. I I'd need love some to. help. I'm I'd love telling to. you right now, they, nobody likes a winner. You know, they, they just get sick of looking at it. I you wouldn't I mean? mind them if they, you guys would just be silent. You know, well, I you're would, not silent. I would you actually root for the Cardinals, but man, you guys make it hard to Did root he not for say it. earlier, well, when we took two out of three from the Cardinals, <laughs> well, that had nothing to do with anything. <laughs> right. Yeah, you come I, I wouldn't mind if the Pirates uh, went deep into the playoffs. I wouldn't That'd either. be all right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind if <laughs> the Dodgers, <laughs> the Washington Nationals, Giants, or Pittsburgh went further than the Cardinals. Parasites. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm okay with that too. But Do you guys have a bunch of different jerseys and stuff at home? Because see, we I, just have Cardinal jerseys. I don't have any jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't either. I have one Cubs jersey. I you think. guys seem to root for a lot you of different teams. Today. I'm <laughs> telling you, I, I need some help here because they're all Cardinal fans. He's a Philly fan, so he's feeling the pain. You okay, know, he's so. feeling it too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's talk about the uh, the 
it's awful early to be talking about Christmas stuff. It is a little, a little bit early, but um, in October we're going to have our Christmas extravaganza, so we're going to load the store up with all Chris Christmas merchandise. Uh, at that same time, we're also going to start our Give Thanks program again this year, uh, so customers can come in and uh, purchase a paper turkey for $2.00. Last year, uh, all the money that we raised in Lincoln stayed in Lincoln for the first time. Um, so we were able to donate that to Open Arms Christian Fellowship Church, and we were able to partner with them in feeding, I think it was right around 400 people in Lincoln and Logan County last year. So we're, wow. we're anticipating to probably uh, reach about 500 people at least this year for Thanksgiving. So uh, we are going to start that in October as well. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty exciting for us. We uh, we set a, a lofty goal this year, so uh, hopefully we can reach that goal to obviously minister and and help people in need this year. And, and what type of volunteers do you have for that? How many people does it take to pull all this off? You think? Well, last year I would say probably around 50 volunteers um, the night of uh, the meal. Um, Last year we opened it up to anyone in the community, obviously, and then we actually delivered some meals out um, to people who couldn't make it in and sent uh, plates home with, with people as well. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get around 500 this year that we'll be able to help out. So uh, if somebody's wanting to come help you, how would they con how they go about of contacting you to tell you that they want to come in and be a part of this? Actually, the best way would either probably be to come into the Mission Mart store, 119 North Sangamon, or you could call our church office, 732-4800. Uh, so that would be a great way to get plugged in to, to either serve or just to be a part and, and giving a donation. Either way would be great. So everything that you guys sell here, mm -hmm. it stays in the community. Is, my, is that correct? Yeah. Um, our main objective, obviously, is to support the shelter in Bloomington. Um, but we have a lot of programs right inside the store that we offer. Um, obviously, if there's a tragedy, we, we meet a need, fire, flood, things of that nature. We'll just give whatever we can, clothing, uh, linens, things of that nature, shoes. Uh, we're happy to do that. We partner with Tony Schuff over at the Salvation Army me to do that as well um, and then probably starting in January uh, we're going to be starting up a program right here uh, called Jobs for Life so it's going to be um, an eight-week class we're going to do it a few times throughout the year um, really what we've heard when we're as Home Sweet Home wants to expand within Lincoln we've heard a lot of uh, employers saying can't find qualified uh, applicants and we've heard a lot of people saying there are no jobs in Lincoln so we're hoping to bridge the gap with uh, our church partners and be able to offer uh, job training and just uh, so we're, we're aiming to start that probably in January sometime is our our hope well oh, good nice. for you that's good stuff going on that is and you know it's all for good cause and that's if you want right. if you want to you know they don't turn anybody down if you want to come help volunteer uh, you can go, uh, can they call you here? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. the phone number is 732-8806. That's right. Or you guys, you can also go online to Facebook at uh, missionmart.org, or that's their uh, their uh, internet site, mm -hmm. and become a fan on Facebook. Today you have a huge green stamp sale going on. That's right. So get on in here, and then uh, next month you're going to have 25% off all your Christmas stuff. That's right. That'll kick off our extravaganza. And, of course, every day we have the color rotation. So today anything with a green tag is 50% off. Um, and then Monday we'll start everything green tag will be 75% off. So really we have some of the best deals in town. Everything rotates out. Um, next to our man cave we have a nice media room so you can come check out uh you know dvds we got some tvs in there you know anything anything you could hope for we really carry so yeah i mean christmas lights in there that don't work christmas lights that don't work yes we, we, that's what i'd like to buy well i'll bring christmas. you a whole box up <laughs> we i know it's that. a special time at my house when i get the christmas tree lights out and they don't work yeah we try and test everything electronic wise but obviously we still get donations <laughs> that don't work so you know what we'll save them for you this year Every, all the lights we find that don't nothing work, more we'll pleasant than that you. oh i know <laughs> then you gotta take them down wow <laughs> well, Mike, uh, thanks for stopping in with us today. Uh, thanks for having us here at your facility. Uh, What's your hours again? I don't think we went through that. 8 yeah, a.m. to okay. 8 p.m., Monday through Saturday. Wow. If you would listen, you would know. Well, maybe I wasn't smart enough no. to <laughs> grab that and uh, 
reinvent it in my mind. Yeah, so I mean that that kind of if you work late, you know, you're open till eight. You know, you get off at five. You have three hours to get up here, and you know those are uh, hours that will help out anybody, especially you, Joe. No, because I know I'm you going work. To the media room. Right you now. work. Uh, you work <laughs> late hours. So, all right. Well, that's Mike Robbins with the Mission Mart here downtown Lincoln, right across from the train depot. Uh, if you want to get a hold of him, it's seven three two eight eight zero six, and uh, they got some stuff going on. If you want to volunteer for here in the next uh, oh next month, it is almost October. So that's right. We'd like to thank the Hampton Inn for sponsoring the coffee and pastries. Would you like a pastry? Uh, not right now. Oh, I'm good, okay. thanks. Uh, you know, they're always giving us a box full of goodies. Strange guy yeah, in a white van. Going yeah, by. is that Steve Brown's van? <laughs> I don't know. But they just go buy ones that look alike. Somebody needs to call LPD. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get, uh, get yeah, Lokovich over here. Be sure to check us out on Comcast Channel 5 in Lincoln and Mount Pulaski for film coverage of the Scott Kirby, Jake Johnston, Cheap Seats Live featuring Joe Ryan. We don't want to leave you out, Joe. I know. Thanks again. You uh, kind of get upset about that. I get Next week out. we'll be at the Christian Village. Uh, so tune in for that. We'll uh, we'll have some. Maybe we'll try to get a hold of Brian Cooks if he'll call in and tell us what he has going on. You know, tell us how, how much money he makes. Well, you can do that. That'll too. be my question. All right, that's going to do it for us. Thanks for tuning in to Cheap Seats, uh, ninety six point three FM, and streaming live on the web at wlcnonline.com. Good day. Good day.